I'm going to show you today how to use the print then cut feature on Cricut Design Space. It's really pretty simple. Uh, I went ahead and I uploaded the images I, I want to use already. So uh, the purpose of me showing you this right here, this what I just clicked, the gray, that's digital paper. I want to show you how to use digital paper. Right now, this one, the gray, it's dripping glitter uh, and it's free on Design Bundles. I'll go ahead and I'll link that in the uh, in the description. Obviously, by the time you're watching this, it may no longer be free, but as of right the time this video is being made, it is a, uh, in the free section, and that includes a uh, commercial use license, just like everything in the free section. So definitely grab it. It's, it's a cute file. I actually bought it <laughs> before it was in the free section. So uh, I use digital paper often. So let's go ahead. I'll reduce the size of this. Digital papers, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, a planner sticker. Um, but digital paper has so many uses. You can make, you know, you can make cards with any print, any print then cut things. You can make cards, you can make banners, you can make, um, like I'm doing stickers. You can do any kind of party decor. You can do, you know, there's just a lot of stuff that you can do with that. Let's go ahead and reduce the size of this all of it. You can see here that my text, I actually set that up externally and imported it. I think any of you that have already worked with Design Space for any period of time know there's a kerning, a letter spacing and alignment error in Design Space. I don't set up any of my text in Design Space. I always do it externally. When you do it externally, everything is, is correctly aligned and um, all set up correctly. And then when you import it, you know, you have perfect text each time, You're not guessing at what it should look like. And a lot of people do this whole, you know, uh, to detach and, and re-space and, and then weld it. And it's just, that's not the right way. It's hack work. So uh, let me go ahead and arrange, send it back. I'm going to need a circle. So I'll go to shapes and a circle. I'm going to use this like a cookie cutter to cut out what I want. Let's move this to the side for now so that I can see what I want. Okay. So. And this wreath, this is just a wreath set that I bought somewhere along the line. Okay, so I think that's good. So what is the size? This is uh, 5.653. So let's make this then uh, 5.8, see if that works. That's, a little bit bigger. That's not quite big enough. So what I want to do is I want to center those two items. Okay, so what I'm going to do so that I can see both is I'm going to arrange I'm going to move backwards. So I don't want to move it all the way to the back. I just want to move it back one layer. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to take this. And I'm going to align. And I'm going to center them. Okay. So what I want to do now. I don't necessarily need, need this right now. What I need is this. So I'm going to select that circle. And then I'm going to press control. And I'm also going to select... Uh, my digital paper. So I'm just selecting those two items and then I'm going to click slice. And I don't need this any longer. I can get rid of that. I can get rid of that. And there's that. Okay. And let's take this and arrange and send a front. And I'm actually. So I'm going to change the color of this. Let's go ahead and actually want that smaller. Okay. Let's change the color of that. So go up to print, go to no fill. Okay, that'll change it to a cut image. And then go to your color box right here. And I'm going to do it like, I don't generally use black as a color. I think like the super dark gray. See how that looks almost black, but it's like a muted black. It just looks classier to me. 
guess I'll take that like that. I actually want to spin this. So, mm -mm -mm. right there. Okay, so now I'm going to align them. I'm going to select those two and I'm going to go to align center. Okay, and take this and I'm going to arrange, send a front. And then I'll take this and reduce the size a little bit. And I'll put this right here. Okay. All right. So now all of this is how I want my planner sticker to look, right? But one more thing that I want to do is I want to give it like just a very slight black outline so that it, it just kind of ties it all together. Or not, not black again, that dark, dark gray. So let me just make sure that this is the correct color as well. So I'm going to go to, again, no fill. So it changes it to a cut image. The only reason I'm changing it to a cut image, not that I'm going to be cutting that out, but then I can change the color of it. So we'll change it back to a print image, but making it a cut image by going to no fill, that, um, again, that makes it so that I can change the color of it. So that dark gray. And then I need another circle. Now what I need to do so that my alignment is all right is I need to select all of this. Okay. Actually, you know what I want to do because I want to make sure that my, my hair appointment part is centered too. So I'm clicking on the wreath and then I'm holding control down and I'm clicking on the uh, my digital paper that I cut out. And then I'm going to, again, just to make sure I did it right, align center. And I'm going to flatten those two together so that that makes them a single layer. See how when I flattened that, it made it a single layer here. These are no longer, these are no longer separate. That's one single layer. And the only reason the writing went away is because it's behind it now. So I'll go to arrange, send it back. Where's my, so now I'm, the reason that I did that separate is because I want to center that hair appointment. And if I had done it all, then it would have um, centered that in a, in, a di in a different way than I wanted. Because what I want to do is I want to only align that, not center it, excuse me. I only want to, uh, well, I guess it is center, excuse me, center horizontally. I don't want to center the hair appointment vertically. I don't want it right in the middle. just want it in the middle this way. So go ahead. Now that's right. And I can flatten all that together. Okay. And now, and now this is one single layer right here. Okay, now, so now I need to go here. Let me see how big that is. It's 6.203. Let's make this 6.4. Here, it may not be big enough. Okay, I think that's perfect. So I'll select both and then I'll go to align center and then again i will go down here well both of them are selected so everything is selected right and i'm going to go to flatten now what flatten does is final flatten what that does is that gets it ready to be a print then cut image now all i have i only have one single layer here okay so what this is going to do when i send this to make it what that's going to do is here let's go ahead and show you okay so go to make it <clears throat> excuse me and it's a print then cut image okay so and obviously i didn't reduce the size so that would be a pretty large printer or a pretty large planner sticker you would reduce the size um so right now what i did is i, I did make it and now you see how it's got these lines on it so this is set up to print okay so it's the first this is a two-part process you'll first print it you'll send it to your printer your printer will print it. In this case, I would be printing it on sticker paper. And then once your printer prints it and you pull it off of your printer, then you load it onto your Cricut mat, load it in the upper left-hand corner, square it up the best you can up against the lines, the, the square in the upper corner, and uh, put it on there. And then your, your machine will already be ready to accept it. And then when you load that mat into your machine with your printed image on it, <clears throat> excuse me, this right here, uh, these lines right here, those are registration lines. Your machine will read those registration lines and it'll know exactly where 
uh, you want it to, to cut. So what it's going to do is it's just going to cut the very outside circle of your image, and then you'll have your, your printed sticker, uh, your, your print then cut sticker, because again, you printed it on your printer, and then you loaded it into your machine, and your machine knew, it read these registration marks, and it knew that it only wanted you, to, that you only wanted it to cut this very outside circle. So let's go ahead and click continue just so you can see what happens. So when you get to this point, you would click on send to printer, and then it's going to bring up your print setup. Okay, so for me, I have a bunch of printers set up. Um, and I would just choose the printer that I want to send it to. And then let me show you something important. This add bleed right here, that is for, so for a situation like this, you probably would want to add bleed because what it does is it just adds a very, very thin layer of, of uh, whatever your outside color is, it bleeds it out a little bit. So that if your print then cut isn't exactly perfect, if it's off by, you know, a half a millimeter or whatever have you, it's not going to show that white that didn't get printed. It'll, it, it'll still look perfect. Um, in a lot of situations, you don't, you know, you don't want to add bleed. But in this, you probably would. I'll show you what happens when you take the bleed off. So when you take the bleed off, see how that line thins up a little bit? Bleed on. See how it's thicker on the very edge? Bleed off. So, and again, so you're sending it to your printer at this point. So then I'm not going to do it because I don't want to print it out. But you would go to click print. Okay, and then it's going to come out of your printer. So close that. In this case, I'm just going to click that I've already printed. Um, and unfortunately, I don't have my, my machine on. So it's not going to show here. But that's okay. So um, like I've already printed. Uh, and it's it's prompting me to turn my machine on. But at that point, what would happen is that your machine, uh, it would walk you right through it. It would say, uh, you know, same as anything else, what material are you using, uh, depending on, you know, where your dial is at, if it's not set to one of the presets, uh, if you're trying to do a custom like sticker paper would be, um, you know, so same as any other regular cut project, you would just pick your material uh, press enter, and then your machine will be blinking. You'll load your mat, and it'll know. It'll read those registration marks. You'll see it, you know, you'll see it zip around to the edges to read the registration marks, uh, and then it'll just cut the perfect circle. You unload your mat, and there's your sticker. You pull your sticker right off the mat, and it's perfectly print and cut. If you have any questions at all, please feel free to ask. Um, but that's, I mean, that's the basics of using digital paper and uh, print then cut. Okay, have a good day.